when Lucasfilm made the big announcement years ago that they were developing another Indiana Jones movie, Indiana Jones 5, fans were rightly concerned because, quite frankly, they saw what Lucasfilm did to Star Wars. They saw it turn into Disney Star Wars, a shell of itself. They saw one of their favorite franchises be destroyed in front of their very eyes. All these legacy characters completely get embarrassed and torn down, and they were worried that was exactly what would happen to Indiana Jones. Well, here we are just a few days away from the release of Indiana Jones 5, The Dial of Destiny, and it seems like the only thing this movie's destined to do is be a complete and total failure and flop at the box office for Disney. And it's so bad, even people in the media that typically defend these kinds of things, that are typically looking for ways to spin it so the studio doesn't look as bad, even they're being forced to admit that there's virtually no way this movie makes any money. How much money will Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny make at the box office? Not enough. And this is over on Slash Film. Virtually ever since Disney purchased Lucasfilm, they've been trying to get Harrison Ford back for one more go-around, and Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is set to hit theaters at the end of June. The question is, will it send the cinematic icon out on a high note? Early box office tracking suggests it won't be the case, and frankly, even in the best case scenario, the movie won't make nearly enough to turn into a hit. Not, not even a hit, a profit. Now, of course, if a movie goes out there and makes $700 million at the box office, that certainly looks like a big number, but if your break-even point is eight fifty, dollars even $900 million, which looks to be the case when it comes to Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, that is still a failure, and that is still losing you a shit ton of money, just like we've seen with Disney. Disney over the past year plus, the past several years, all these box office disappointments they've had. When the production budget runs up to over $300 million, then you spend another $150 million on marketing. Yeah, this movie needs to make way more than it's tracking to right now. And in fact, when you do look at the box office tracking, it's embarrassing for this movie. The latest estimates from Box Office Pro have the fifth Indiana Jones movie taken in anywhere between 68 and 102 million its opening weekend. To be fair, that's down a little bit. Now it's down to 68 to 95 million but unfortunately just like we saw with the flash a lot of the trades have it actually doing considerably worse right now 60 to 70 million is the best estimate that we have right now from a lot of these people who were spot on when it came to the flash being under those projections and the flash ended up being way way less than anyone could have thought with that 55 million dollar opening it looks like indiana jones and the dial of destiny may be on that same type of path another horrific opening at the box office for a movie that needs to way overperform that level. To put that in perspective, if this movie made 60 to $70 million its opening week in the box office, that would be over a 30% drop-off from the last Indiana Jones movie that came out. You know, the one that came out in 2008, Indiana Jones Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, back when ticket prices were averaging somewhere around $7 a ticket. This movie's opening weekend domestic was over $100 million. And it's not like this had a massive drop-off, a 55% drop-off, and this movie didn't even hit $800 million at the box office. Even if it performed like that, even if Indiana Jones 5 did $800 million at the box office, it would still lose money for Disney. And right now, it's not even close to that threshold. It's not even close to tracking with this movie. Really, the last couple years have been full of disasters for Disney. They'd be no stranger to this, whether you look at all the Pixar stuff that's come out between Lightyear. Elemental right now is currently on its way to flop. Little Mer Mermaid needs to make over $700 million to break even. That thing is going to struggle to hit $600 million at the global box office. Strange World was a bomb. Ant-Man and the Lost Quantumania was a bomb for them. It's riddled with failures when you look at Disney, and Indiana Jones is set to do absolutely that. Fail. 60 to 70 million, that's what most people right now are projecting as we head in to the final couple days before this movie opens at the box office. And it doesn't help when all of the reviews for this movie basically confirm that things the fans were worried about, that Phoebe Waller-Bridge, woke Phoebe Waller-Bridge, was brought in to lead around Harrison Ford, to do everything just so incredible and embarrass him and mock him and shame him and all of these things. It sounds to most people like she ruins the movie, like she ruins Harrison Ford's last hurrah as Indiana Jones. I don't think a lot of people are interested in this. I don't think they're going to get the turnout they expect. When it's all said and done, this might end up being a movie that lands somewhere between 600 to $700 million if they're lucky, and that 
would still be a massive loss for Disney to the tune of potentially hundreds of millions of dollars. That's where Disney's at, where they might be hoping that they only lose a hundred million dollars. What do you guys think about Dial of Destiny? What are your predictions for opening weekend and full box office run? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.